guys. My name is Chukulo Judith, and today we are going to be discussing on how you can produce emotion paint. Emotion paint. And you know, emotion paint is a water-based kind of paint. Yes. And please try to watch to the end of the video so that you will get all the measurements and ingredients that are needed for today's paint. So guys, today we are going to be producing 5 liters of paint. 5 liters of paint. So please get your pen and paper so that you can write down all the materials and their measurements to avoid mistakes when producing yours. And the chemicals we are going to be using today for our productions are titanium dioxide, calcium PT, calcium, PDA, formalin, biocide, texanol, and ammonia. And without wasting much of our time, let's dive into the production aspect. And please try to watch to the end of the video so that you can get all the chemicals and measurements that are needed for this for today's production. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the practical aspect. So guys, the first thing we are going to be adding is our solvent, which is water. For the sake of our today's production, we are going to be adding two and a half liters of water to produce five liters of paint. And you know, solvent is the chemical which we use to dissolve all other components involved in paint production together. So now we are adding our titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide. And after the addition of titanium dioxide, we mix thoroughly. And we are going to be using 62.5 gram of titanium dioxide. So guys, this is our carbon PT. Carbon PT. This is the chemical that helps to melt or to dissolve all the other components involved in paint production. It helps to dissolve the components or the chemicals involved in paint production. To make the end result of our production to be smooth. So let's keep producing. So guys, this is the addition of calcium. Calcium is the chemical or the component that gives body to the paint. It also serves as fillers. It also increases the size of the production for people that are producing in large quantity. For this production, we are going to be using 3.75 kg. 3.75 kg of calcium. So guys, the next thing we are going to be adding is our PVA, which is also known as acrylic, and which is a binder. This is the component that binds the paint to the wall. And for this production, we are going to be adding 0 0.375 kg. 0 0.375 kg of acrylic. So guys, this is the addition of the formalin. Formalin. And it is used to preserve the paint. And for the sake of this production, we are going to be using 25 ml of formalin. 25 ml of formalin. So guys, this is the addition of biocide. Biocide. Biocide is a chemical that kills microorganisms that lives in the paint, which helps the paints to last longer in its container, especially in water-based paints such as satin, matte, emulsion, and others. As you can see, this is the addition of genopol. Genopol. It helps the paint not to form solid components under its bucket or under its containers, which is it prevents the paint from forming solid content. And for the sake of this production, we are going to be using 0 0.125 kg of genopol. 0 0.125 kg of genopol. As you can see, this is the addition of our deformer. It helps reduce excessive foam from our paint products. 
due to the addition of Jennifer. And for the sake of this production, we are going to be adding 0.125 kg of the foamer. We are about to add our natural soul. And please take note, natural soul is not allowed to be added directly into the paint. You must first of all mix natural soul thoroughly in an empty bowl with water with two times the amount of natural soul. Then pour into product and mix. And for the sake of this production, we are going to be using 25 gram of natural soul. 25 gram of natural soul. The next chemical to be added in our list today is the ammonia. Guys, please, if you have watched the video up to this moment, comment 5 liter in the comment section. And the quantity of ammonia to be added in our paint production today is 25 ml of ammonia. Thank you guys for sticking around with us to the end of today's video. Please like this video, share and subscribe and also turn on your notification bell to get the next video that I'm going to be posting. Bye and see you later.